everyone, it's Georgia. This is a little bit of a different video, but I was listening to a podcast last week and they were making beeswax collages out of paper. And I thought, hey, I wonder if I could do that with fabric. So I didn't have any bees, well, I had a little bit of beeswax left over, bits of candles, but I also had some other wax, so I just melted it all together. Uh, I have some red in here. I don't know if you can see into the can. I'm just gonna, and it has a little bit of sparkle in it but it's not super bright. So I think it's just gonna give us sort of a light pink tint. Yeah, that's gonna be fun and sticky. And then I also have just sort of a yellowy beige natural color. So I thought about using a paintbrush for this project, but I think I'm just gonna dip fabric in and then stick it on the other fabric and see how it goes. So I have this piece of old sheet. It's 100% cotton. It's nice and light. And I also have this pile of silk because I wanted to see if we could get some of that transparent look going where the fabrics kind of blend into each other. I also have just some scraps that are tiny that I couldn't really use on anything else and a little bit more 100% uh, cotton, some beads, feathers, and buttons, and we'll see what happens. I do apologize for the lighting. This was just such a spur of the moment project that it is dark outside and I'm just using my lights so I know there's really heavy shadows and it's very much not ideal and next week we will go back to a video that's actually in the plan but sometimes things are just fun and have to be done and that's all there is to it so that's what you're getting today is fun but I'm really looking forward to how multi-layered this could get If you are going to use a paintbrush, I would definitely use one that you are not wanting to use for paint afterwards. This wax could be kind of fun to get out later. Well, it definitely sticks to itself, so at least for now, so that's fun. Did I mention wax is hot? Wax is hot, everyone. It's sticky and awesome. This is actually so fun. I highly recommend this if you don't mind getting a little bit messy. This is a piece of that 100% silk. Uh, it's recycled sari fabric that was made into um, a top. And then, obviously, I'm now recycling it again. Oh my goodness! Maybe a paintbrush would work better. Because once I get it on the fabric, it's pretty well hardened. It's so thin. But a few more layers might do it. Uh, to melt it, I put it in these cans on top of a cookie sheet. So I put little pieces and bits that I had left over um, in cans, put it on a cookie sheet, and then just had it at like keep warm, like whatever your holding temperature is. I think it's like 170 or 180. But there's other ways that you could melt wax. I know uh, some people use like little mini crock pots for that reason. You, um, I've actually seen some people do it with an iron as well. Uh, you could just do it in a double boiler. Like I've put one of these cans in a double boiler. If you don't have an oven, you can put like some water in a pot, usually a heavy bottomed pot, and then just set the can inside the pot and that works. Oh, I love how that green looks with the wax on it. Yes, yes. Okay, what else can we do here? I wonder if I can get sort of a beach scene going. I know I said this was gonna be a different sort of project, but I guess I have beaches on the mind these days. Now I wonder if that's gonna be see-through enough to see underneath, which I think would be really cool. Maybe we can make this one a beach sunset. Get the drips off. Almost reminds me a little bit of whoop. Okay, so when you touch it, you get fingerprints. So that's something to be aware of. Um, it reminds me of <clears throat> making pinatas as a kid. Do you remember doing that? Okay. I definitely want to put these little footprint buttons in there eventually. I want to add a little bit more underneath this sandy patch here. So 
So I'm a little nervous about this, but let's see what happens if I just put it directly on it. Oh yeah, melts that right up. So if this is a sunset, we should probably have a sun somewhere. This one's yellow. Let's see if we can make it circular. This used to be a an old mask, I think. COVID mask that got shrunk way out of shape. And I find that I just don't need as many as I used to need, which is a wonderful thing. Well, I think what we really need is a half circle. Making a beach sunset always reminds me, I spent some time in Egypt one summer and the I still remember sitting by the beach and watching the sun just drop below the horizon. It's happened so much faster than it does here in North America. Our sunsets are sort of slow, long, drawn out activities, but that was like, hmm, I don't know, 15 minutes start to finish. It was a really cool thing to watch. You can see the wax is really sticking the layers of fabric together. Obviously, I won't be able to um, wear this or use it as a patch on something. It'll just be a piece of art, but you know, that's fun too. Although I will likely try and find a way to make it useful in the future because I like things to be beautiful and useful. Okay, so we've got a sun there now. I'm going to try and get some of this wax off my fingers and then I have think I'm going to use this gold thread and go around the sun. And I think because um, this thread is metallic, anything that is metallic sometimes frays while you use it. And I find that adding a little bit of wax, like beeswax usually, just sort of helps keep hold it together and keeps it from splitting all over the place makes it a lot easier to handle. So it's handy that there happens to be wax everywhere at the moment. So I think I'm gonna trace the outline of the sun as well as attach these buttons. The needle is harder to hold onto with the waxy fingers, but it goes through the fabric quite fine even though there is now wax on it. So that's a fun discovery. I think I expected that it would make the fabric tougher Oh yes, I love the gold with this. Well, this might make a neat card front when it's done. Oh, ah, I'm bleeding, hang on. All right, so what we've learned from this experience is that waxed needles are slippery. Be careful you don't stab yourself with them. I went and got a Band-Aid so I can stop bleeding on the artwork. Sewing on buttons is one of the most meditative things in sewing. I think, because you don't even have to decide where the stitch goes. It just goes up and down and up and down. I'm loving this glitter, the gold glitter, with the wood button. Okay, call it there. I might be able to knot it in here. There we go. Let's do the sun. I'm going with big long stitches because I'm not actually trying to get the sun to stay down. I'm just trying to decorate it. I may need to re-melt the wax afterwards though because it's tending to bunch up a little bit around the stitches and I don't like the look of that. This is actually so cool. 
I don't know if I'll ever do this again, but maybe I will s integrate some aspects of this into future projects. It's kind of neat how you can see the silk right through the cotton. Do let me know if you've ever tried this and this is like totally a thing amongst in the fabric world that I've just never heard of because that would be super cool. Okay, I'm gonna leave this at the back because I'm sure I will want it again. Okay, what next? Now we need, we need to do the sunset, so the actual sky. And I think I want that there as well. Let's do the sky. I don't know if you did this as a kid, but whenever I went to parties where they had candles or things like weddings, <laughs> funerals sometimes, I would always stick my fingers in the candles and see like how much of a, a finger cap I could build up and then peel it off and like arrange them in front of my plate. Clearly I loved being at parties. Okay, let's put some of this in here too. I think I want it in strips. Actually, I wish I had longer strips because that extended all the way across. It has just occurred to me that there is an alternative to my whole shoving my fingers in the wax option. Uh, I could have used like chopsticks. Anything that is long and skinny and would allow me to fish fabric out of a can of hot wax. I totally did not plan what I was going to do at all. I kind of roughly blocked out a color scheme. I knew I wanted to go more orange and green and yellow and less blue, but this is totally, totally winging it. And it's awesome. I'm liking how it looks. It's just, just fun. But I think the sunset needs a little bit more going on. I don't have quite all of the right colors here that I'd love to have, but I'm such a proponent of use what you have. So we're gonna include some yarn. Okay, so that was a really fun experiment. There are so many more embellishments you could keep going with. I'd love to put some beads in here, more gold thread. It's just like, what do they say? Art is never finished, it's only abandoned. I can't remember who said that, but it seems true. If you are gonna use the iron like me to sort of melt it all together, just make sure you use one that doesn't have holes in it for steam because the wax would totally get into all those holes in such a terrible way. I dribbled some pink wax on the way by, putting the sky in. I'm just blending those now. It's okay with me that they're in the sand because often sand is a little bit different colors. But I don't want them to look like actual dribbles of pink wax. That was a fun, quick project. Another way to use up leftover candle wax. I have a couple more videos coming down the pipe. Uh, another slow stitching one next week, I hope. And some clothing alteration videos. Not quite sure in what order they're gonna come out in. So subscribe for more shenanigans. And let me know what you thought of whatever this nonsense was. See ya.